Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another tutorial. Here I wanna talk about a common problem when it comes to the mixing process of your project. In this video, I have footage of a woman walking through an art gallery on two different surfaces, and I've laid in all the footsteps here on various tracks. I also have some ambience and some music underneath, and now that everything's laid into place, I wanna mix it. Mixing is a vital part of any sound design project as it brings everything into a believable range. And there's a few different ways of going about mixing your sound effects in Audition. I could go to each one of these and manually adjust the gain, or I could go to the tracks here and adjust the levels per track. But instead of doing that, I found a much easier way to do that, and I wanna show you guys right now. If you go up to multi-track, track, add stereo bus track, you see it adds another track here in my track list called bus A. And what's neat about bus tracks is that you can group different tracks, like for example, tracks one and two, which have the footstep sound effects laid in. I can tell tracks one and two to be controlled by a bus track. And it's a really easy process. You just go to your mixer window and the current output for track number one right now is the master track. And if I click on this arrow here and go to bus, I can select bus A. And I'll also do the same thing to track two. So now both track one and track two are going to be controlled by bus A. So now I can mix both track one and track two by this one bus track. So if I play my project and listen to the mix right now, I think that's really, really loud. So I'm gonna dial down the volume of bus track A, and I'll just do this until I find a decibel level that's appropriate for the environment. Right here in my footage is where the woman is stepping onto the carpet. And so there's different footstep sounds for the carpet, but again, they're really loud. So rather than also assigning tracks three and four to the same bus, I'm gonna to go to multi-track, track, add stereo bus track, create another bus track, bus B, and assign tracks three and four to be controlled by bus B. Again, in my mixer window, I'm gonna to go to track three and four and assign them both to be controlled by bus B. And then it's just doing the same process, scrubbing through the footage and adjusting the levels accordingly to make sure it fits the environment in my project. So from here, it's just a matter of tweaking to taste. I think this is really gonna help you guys speed up your mixing process when you get to this phase in your project. Hopefully you found this helpful. And by the way, all these sound effects that I'm using are from wavebrigade.com. There's a bunch of free sound effects there that you can sample. Instant download status, so go check that out if you'd like. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this tutorial and wanna see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once again, I'm Dan Bernard and thanks for stopping by.